I am uh, Venkaman Desai, Director at uh, Green Robotics and Indrachan. I have uh, spent about uh, 24 years in the Air Force and uh, last 10 years in the industry and uh, almost 30 years uh, building only uh, C4I systems and systems such as this. Uh, that's the background. So the need for Indrajal came because uh, the threat has been changing. Uh, the threat is not just the drones. We believe the threat is unified in the sense that everything which is low radar cross section uh, while it, the object can be of 30 by 30 centimeters on the radar, it will point as 0 0.01 square meters. So once the radar cross-section is less, the chance of uh, detecting this uh, on a sensor will reduce. Uh, also, the threat has been morphing uh, from uh, small drones, which uh, people used to do for hobby, all the way to medium and uh, high altitude drones, which can stay in the air for 12 to 60 hours. They also stay high above the atmosphere. That means that it is very difficult for terrestrial sensors to be able to see. Them. Considering that there are so many uh, variants in the entire threat class, and also that every static defense has a limitation in terms of uh, range. That means if you deploy a sensor, it will have a 2 to 3 kilometer detection envelope beyond which are 4 or 5 at the best and beyond that you will not be able to uh, detect it. Now if this is going to be the situation, to protect a linear border you may require 3, 4, 5 or, or 20 systems you know, to de detect uh, de protect a border of 20 kilometers. Deploying 20 systems uh, is not only cost prohibitive but also a command control nightmare. You will not be able to, uh, which person is taking on which target and how do you even relay this information to each other. So this kind of uh, uh, complexity will arise. So what we have decided to look at is uh, deploy a distributed network of sensors. This is the same. The same problem is applicable also for the effectors. The effectors also have a limitation in terms of range. There will be a range of 0 to 1, 0 to 2 kilometers uh, for effectiveness. So necessarily it means that the effectors have also got to be pushed out where they are most effective. So they have also got to be distributed in the entire network. So for distributed sensing, distributed engagement and centralized command control, we build the industry. So with the Indrajal, we can actually take on an area of 10 by 10 kilometers. We can also take on an area of uh, 100 by 100 square kilometers. Because of the various artificial intelligence power technologies that we brought into the mix. Indrajal is a very uh, wide area uh, deployable system. We are looking at uh, active deployments in uh, border areas, national capital region, uh, population centers essentially. Uh, there is also a lot of inquiry coming in from the uh, petrochemical industry because it's pretty vulnerable to a simple drone dropping on top of it. Uh, there is also active uh, inquiries from international communities which are engaged in internal conflicts. So also against trafficking, uh, there is a trafficking of uh, drugs, a tra of trafficking of arms, there is a lot of uh, interest to deploy in the jal. We do not subscribe and prescribe the layers that are suitable for that. We will suggest the layers that are suitable for that kind of a deployment. Each deployment is going to be different. So we are looking at multiple bespoke deployments for a variety of industry, which is uh, military, paramilitary, as well as the civilian.